Hi everyone, I'm here to give you a quick look at Symbaloo. Symbaloo allows you to create a page. This page uh, is called a web mix. A uh, web mix has a background image. I chose a nice beach picture here uh, with up to 52 customizable tiles. Uh, each tile can hold a link to a web page. Symbaloo is good if you want to guide people to different websites quickly and easily so they don't have to type in long URLs or web addresses. Uh, teachers, for example, might want to set up a Symbaloo as a class homepage with a set of important links for their students. So I'll show you how to add a tile to your web mix. Click on a blank space and I'm going to add a link here to Seesaw. Seesaw is a common site used for uh, digital portfolios. Maybe I want my students to be able to go there. Um, it's a common web page, so I'm just going to do a search. It's like somebody has already made a Seesaw tile in the past and shared it with the community. So if I just click on it, it will automatically add it. Uh, if I want to double check, I can right click and click edit and just make sure that um, the website is correct. That is the right address for Seesaw. Um, and uh, I could customize the uh, tile a little bit if I wanted to add colors uh, or I could add my own graphics if I wanted to. But I, this tile looks pretty good. So I'm just going to click Save and there it is. Now, even though I've placed this tile on my web mix, it won't really be visible to visitors until I click this update button. Notice this update button turned blue when I made a change. That's a reminder that I need to update before this change goes live. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the update button and I'll get a little green flash that means the update has succeeded. And now this tile will be visible to anyone uh, who's visiting my web mix. In this space, I'm going to add a tile for something a lot more specific, I'm going to add a link to an exit ticket that I want my students to take on a Google form. Uh, so I cannot search for this. This is a tile that I'm making for the very first time. So I go to my Google form. Here's my exit ticket. I'm going to click on the send link. And this time I want to grab a URL and copy that on the clipboard. Then I go back to Symbaloo and I click on add a tile, create a tile, and I'll carefully place my cursor here and paste the URL for my Google site. And I can add a name and call it exit ticket. And as you can see, Symbaloo has already added uh, a customized icon for a Google form, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, and if I click save, there we go. And there's the link to my Google form. And I'll just click on it just to make sure it works. There it is. And it opens my exit ticket Google form. Um, if you want to change the background image, you can click on the options button. There's a number of options here for your web mix. Uh, for your background image, you'll click on change wallpaper. And you can change to a different background image if you want. You can also upload an image from your computer or device and make it even more customized. Or if you want to make it something a little less flashy, you could just choose a blank background like that. Um, when your web mix is complete and you'd like to share it with others, you can click on the share button and add information about your web mix. Uh, here I've given it a name. You can add a short description and some words to use as tags. When you're ready to share, you can decide whether your web mix will be available to the public or only to uh, private people that you share it with. Um, one of the ways you can share is to highlight this URL and you can then paste it into an email message to send it to somebody. You can also use an embed code, which will add it to a Google site or other web page that you might have for your classroom. And also, please note that you can share a web mix via social media. Um, but as a teacher, of course, you should be cautious about uh, following the policies of your school district and uh, sound practice about using social media in the classroom. Be very cautious about that. Personally, I would avoid uh, any social media uh, contact with students, of course. Um, also, you should be aware that when you do share 
a web mix, uh, it will show advertisements to people. Uh, and that's something that might be a concern for students in the classroom. So thank you for watching this introduction to Symbaloo. If you have any questions, as always, contact your friendly local ed tech specialist.